Okay, so uh, this is lecture 27. And before we start a discussion on compact metric spaces, we will see a nice application of what we have seen so far. So today we will prove a very interesting theorem. So SON is connected. In fact, SON is also path connected, but that takes a little bit more work. And uh, uh, so in this course, we will prove that SON is connected. Uh, before we start the proof, uh, it is perhaps worth appreciating that the de definition of SON is somewhat, is somewhat complicated. So, recall that SON is all those matrices A in M and R such that A transpose A is equal to identity and determinant of A is 1. So, to show that if you were to show try and show directly that SON is path connected, then it, it would probably be quite hard. Yeah. So, let us begin the proof. Mm. So, first consider this map from SON to the sphere SN minus 1. Okay. Uh, before that, So, let E1 in Rn denote the column vector one zero zero. Okay, and consider the map from SON to the n minus one sphere given by. We take a matrix A. Uh, so let's say n is greater than or equal to two. So we take a matrix A, and we get it's get it gets mapped to A E one, right? So we are taking this matrix A in S O N, and this is getting sent to the first column. So, uh, a priori it is not clear that the image lands in S n minus 1, but let us just check that. So, uh, A e 1, so we need to like a priori this is a map from S o n to R R n and we need to check the image lands in S n minus 1, right. So, S o n has the subspace topology from M n R and this is just a projection, projection on some coordinates, right. So, therefore, this map is continuous. So, this map is continuous, right. So, let us compute the norm of this A e 1. Uh, the inner product of A E 1 comma A E 1, this is equal to, so this is the standard inner product, inner product on R n given by V comma W is defined to be uh, W transpose times V, right. So, when we use this, so we get this inner product is equal to A times E 1 transpose times A E 1, which is equal to E 1 transpose A transpose A E 1, but now A, A is an S O N, which means A transpose A is identity. So, this is equal to E 1 transpose E 1, which is just equal to 1, right. So, uh, this implies that the image lands in S n minus 1. The norm of this vector A E 1 that is 1, right. So, we have this S o n, we have this continuous map to R n and 
the image actually lands inside Sn minus 1. And since Sn minus 1 has a subspace topology from Rn, this implies that this map we have defined S of n to Sn minus 1 is continuous. Okay. Uh, next, let us consider the subgroup H equal to SON minus 1 sitting inside SON as follows 1, 0 is here, 0 is here, and here we have this matrix SON minus 1. So, we claim that A E 1 is equal to B E 1. So, if you call this map phi, so what we are saying is phi of A is equal to phi of B, uh, if and only if B inverse of A is in H. Okay. So, let us check this. So, if B inverse of A is in H, right? so this implies that B inverse of A is equal to H for some H in H. This implies that A is equal to B times H simply by multiplying on the left with B. So, now we apply both these on E1. So, this will imply that a e 1 is equal to b times h e 1. Yeah. But now note that h e 1 is simply equal to e 1, right? because when we apply this a matrix of this type on e 1, we get back e 1. Right? Uh, so, this implies a e 1 is equal to b e 1. Okay. So, now let us prove the converse. Conversely, suppose A E 1 is equal to B E 1, then multiplying with B inverse on both sides, then this implies that B inverse A applied on E 1 is equal to E 1. Okay. So, we let C be the matrix B inverse A. Right. So, then C E 1 is equal to E 1. Right. So, this implies that C is a matrix which looks like this. So, C E 1 is equal to E 1 which means the first column looks like this and the others can be anything. Right. Now, as A and B are in S O N, this implies B inverse A is equal to C is also in S O N, right? And from the condition C transpose C uh, is equal to identity. So if we write C as columns C one, C two, up to C n, right? So this C transpose C is equal to identity. So this becomes uh, C1 transpose, C2 transpose, Cn transpose into this column C1, C2 up to Cn is equal to identity. So, this implies Ci transpose Cj is equal to 0 for i not equal to j. Uh, so, if we now, so, but this C i transpose C j, that is just the inner product C i. Yeah. So, this implies that uh, the inner product C j comma C 1 is equal to 0 for j not equal to 1. Right. But 
C1 is this column vector 1 0 0 right and Cj so C1 is this column and let us say let us take C2, C2 will be this column. So, when we take the inner product of C1 and C2, we get this entry, this first entry over here, right. So, uh, since the inner product is 0, this implies that this entry will be 0 and similarly this entry will be 0 and similarly all these entries will be 0, right. So, as C1 is this, uh, this from this we conclude that C is this matrix looks like this. And here we have whatever, right. So, this implies that C belongs to H, okay. So, thus B inverse A belongs to H, which is what we want to prove, okay. Uh, next we claim that the map S O n to S n minus 1 is surjective. Okay. So, recall that given a vector v with norm v is equal to 1. So, v is in R n, right. We may extend it to an ortho orthonormal basis v is equal to v 1, v 2 up to v n of R n, right. And so, now let A be equal to the matrix v 1 we write these vectors as column vectors and we let this matrix A. So, A is an n cross n matrix, right. So, then clearly, so this matrix A transpose A uh, is going to be equal to this matrix obtained by V i taking the inner products of V i and V j. There is an easy check, right. And this is clearly equal to identity because uh, the V i is they form an orthonormal basis, right. So, if determinant of A is equal to minus 1, then we simply replace the last column by negative of that, then let A prime be the matrix V 1, V 2 up to minus V n, right. So, then we easily check that A prime transpose A is equal to identity and determinant of A prime is equal to 1. So, moreover, the first column of A prime is V 1 is equal to V is equal to V, right. So, this proves that. So, this is map phi, this proves that phi is subjective. Uh, okay. Uh, and we need one more ingredient. So, let us look at that. So, if A is in S O n, then consider the map from S O n to S O n. This is given by left translation by elements of A. So, precisely this map is, it sends a matrix B in S O n to A times B. Yeah. So, it is easily checked that if A and B are in S O n, then obviously A times B is in S O n. In fact, S O n is a subgroup of G L and R. Uh, so, let us check that this map is continuous. So, to show this map is continuous, so note that S O n has a subspace topology from uh, M and R. So, it is enough to ch check that this L A after we compose with this inclusion, right. So, this composite is continuous, right. But this composite map, this dotted arrow, it factors like this M and R 
to LA, right? So, both these triangles commute. We can take this matrix A, this matrix A is fixed and we can define left multiplication by A on MNR itself, yeah? So, here also it is A goes to AB, right? But clearly, uh, this map is continuous because all the coordinates, they are just some linear combinations of the, the coordinates of AB are simply linear combinations of the coordinates of B. So, therefore, this horizontal map is continuous. The, as a result, when we look at this map, that is continuous because we have just restricted this continuous map to SON which means the dotted arrow is continuous, which means the map LA which we started with that is continuous, uh, right. So, similarly LA inverse, so let me just write, yeah. So, uh, let us call this map A, B, C, LA, let us call this LA tilde, yeah. So, uh, to show LA is continuous, enough to show B compose LA is continuous, right, but B compose, uh, it is enough to show B compose LA is continuous because SON has a subspace topology from MNR, right. But B compose A, L A is equal to this dotted arrow A, which is equal to uh, L A tilde compose C, right? And L A tilde is continuous because L A tilde, it's enough to check what it, uh, the coordinate functions of L A tilde are continuous, and so and C is just a restriction of L A tilde to S O N. This implies L A tilde compose C is continuous. So, this implies L A is continuous, okay. Uh, so, similarly L A inverse is continuous, but clearly we have L A compose L A inverse is equal to identity which is also equal to L A inverse compose L A. Right. So, thus, so we have LA is continuous and LA is a bijective continuous map and its inverse, it is clear is L of A inverse and that is also continuous here. Yeah? So, thus LA is a homeomorphism. Okay. So, now with these ingredients, we are ready to prove that SON is uh, connected. So, we will prove Uh, the theorem by induction on M. So, the base case is n equal to 1, right. So, in this case, SO1 is simply this is one element which is obviously connected. So, assume we have proved that n is greater than or equal to 2 and we have proved that S O k is connected for, okay, so So, let us assume that n is greater than or equal to 1 for k lying between 1 and n. Okay. So, now we will show that S O n plus 1 is connected. Okay. Uh, so, consider the map.
so n plus 1 to s n right. So, note that n as n is greater than or equal to 1 we have n plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2. So, therefore, we can consider this map which we analyzed before. So, if s o n if s o n plus 1 is disconnected then we can write it as the disjoint union of two non empty are disjoint non empty open sets and all and so also closed right so let's let's pick any element of so n plus 1 right and let h be the subgroup so n contained inside so n plus 1 So, uh, so A is in S O n plus 1. So, A is either in U or it is in V. So, assume that A belongs to U. right? So, then we can take this subset A H and we can write it as A H intersected U disjoint union A H intersected V. So, as L A, so L A is from S O n plus 1 to S O n plus 1 is a homeomorphism, right. And we have H sitting over here, L A sends it to A H sitting over here, right. So, L A is a homeomorphism, so therefore, it is a homeomorphism. Uh, this implies that L A restricted to H, this is map from A H to A H, is also a homeomorphism. So, and as H is connected, so H is homeomorphic to S O n and we are assuming by induction that S O n is connected. So, as H is connected and A H is homeomorphic to H, this implies that A H is also connected, right. So, thus uh, one of these two open sets has, has to be empty. But A belongs to this set, so this implies that this set over here has to be empty. Or in other words, A H is completely contained inside you, right. So, we have proved that, we have proved that if A belongs to you, then A H is completely contained inside you. Similarly, if B belongs to V, then B H is completely contained inside. Uh, okay. So, now let us consider this map from S O n plus 1 to S n. Right. So, U is closed. and so n plus 1 is compact implies u is compact right which implies phi of u is compact in sn yeah which implies that phi of u is closed 
right. So, similarly, phi of v is also closed, right. So, as p is surjective, this implies S n is equal to p of u union p of v. So, we claim that this union is disjoint. is disjoint. Right. If not, there exists some vector v in p of u intersection p of v. Right. So, this implies that there exists a in u and b in v such that phi of a is equal to a e 1 is equal to v is equal to b e 1 is equal to phi of b. Right. But now, we know that this happens this will imply that b inverse a belongs to h which implies that a belongs to b of h and since b belongs to v, b of h is contained in u contained in v. Right. So, which is which is a contradiction because we assume that A is in U and U and B are disjoint. Yeah. So, thus we have written if S O n plus 1 is disconnected then S n is going to be P of U disjoint union P of E. Right. We can write it as a disjoint union of non-empty closed subsets, which means it will be also be the disjoint union of non-empty open subsets, which means S n will be disconnected. Yeah. But this contradicts, but we have seen before that S n is connected. The fact that S n is connected. Yeah. So, thus S o n plus 1 is connected. So, this proves this completes the proof of the theorem. So, we will end here.